hello welcome to my channel so as you can tell by the title we're going to be doing a full face of first impressions let's get into it so i've got a full face of stuff here okay so to start off i'm going to be using the bobby brown vitamin enriched face base so let me go on to their website okay let's see what this is supposed to do what is it a bobby brown um vitamin enriched face base a primer plus moisturization for smooth makeup application it's the best of both worlds rich in feel but never greasy this advanced face formula with sheer butter instantly hydrates soften and cushions the skin um okay so it's for normally normal to oily skin types so that's good and it just says apply to just cleanse skin avoiding the eye okay this retails for 44 pound and 50 pence and you get 50 milliliters so how much is that 1.7 fluid ounce that's pretty good so um let's pop this compact open oh oh it smells like skincare like anti-wrinkle cream mm, okay Oh, that smells good. Right, so I'm going to take a damp beauty blender because it's hygienic and I'm just going to scoop a little bit out. I don't know how much to use. Um, And then I'm going to look in my mirror just to the side and I'm just going to... feels quite nice okay so that feels really nice and tacky definitely like a good base for foundation wow. right so foundation then i'm going to be kickstarting it using the juvia's palace velvety matte foundation so this hit the internet by storm um it's been one of the world's full coverage foundation jeffrey star nikki tutorials they all reviewed it so i thought based on their reviews i'm gonna give it a go so i actually have a sale on <laughs> and like it's super cheap right now um so i got it for like 15 quid um retails about 20 dollars um for me uh, global inspired long lasting all day wearability i am magic velty foundation was designed for all skin tones from deepest dark to the fairest fair love your magic with Juvia's palace okay cool so full coverage um so i don't know how much i'm gonna need i think that might be enough i'm gonna use that much so i'm gonna just blanket all over my face i do have a synthetic brush as well but i'm not a fan of brushes but i mean i can always just touch up with the brush <laughs> I mean, obviously, I'm concealed or anything like that. But with one dollop, a, a tiny pea size, what we think it? I'm not mad at it. I mean, it definitely feels very dry. Like, I don't know if I like it. Let's see how it, like, we don't even know yet. Let it oxidise, let it just do its thing. And then, you know, we'll see what happens. <sighs> okay. Next up is concealer. So, I had to go for the Juvia's Palace concealer because I thought, I just want to see how these two work together. Um, packaging wise, I think it's really cute. I love the compact it comes in. I love the size of the concealer. I love that. Like that is everything. Um, this is supposed to kind of match with that. So this is shade 22. So apparently Cairo goes with that, apparently. 
allegedly. Let's give this a go. Oh, my ring opened up, bitch. So let's just shake it with this hand. Um, right. Mm, smells like. Mm, smells like makeup. You know. So let's just. I don't know how much I want to do. So I'm not going for a lot because I don't know how full coverage this is. So let's just drag that down a bit. Let's just do this and then do this. Okay, I don't know how full coverage this is. So I don't want to go all in and then think, oh, yeah, I screwed up. <laughs> and in the mirror she looks quite pale like i know it's like not set or anything but i feel like this is really pale like i've gone from like something that kind of matched my skin tone to oh she goes like i'm pale as it is but she looks quite ghosty now um okay so i haven't got any new setting powder so i've just grabbed my revolution bake and finish luxury baking powder this is in the shade translucent I wanted to see how this wears together because sometimes a brand can make a concealer or foundation and they don't <coughs> oh oh <coughs> bitch sometimes they just don't blend so i mean it's blended up really nicely 100 percent. i can't fault the formula i just think the shade is slightly too pale i could have gone for like maybe one shade darker i don't know i mean obviously it's highlight do you know what i mean i'm not expecting it to be dark but i don't know it might wear really well let's set this first and let's see what happens Pens. so i'm just gonna go in with the beauty blender that i used for my primer i'm gonna take the tip just the tip <laughs> take a hit and I'll be right back okay so I'm just gonna take my brush which is manky as f but a different one um yeah I'm gonna take this fluffy brush it's a BH cosmetics one and I'm just gonna just <laughs> This looks so pale. Maybe it's a concealer. I don't know. Like this is maybe this is brightening powder, bitch. Because this looks even more pale than it already did. Do you know what I mean? Okay, right. Let's just be done with that, and we'll see what happens as this kind of oxidizes. So next, what is next on our agenda? What have I got? contour so all that i'm gonna do is the anti-age multi-use concealer in the shade 10 caramel that is gonna be way too motherfucking dark um because obviously they haven't got testers out for hygiene purposes and this was the darkest shade i could find above my shade i have in the under eye concealer so i don't know if they just sold out or if it's just me not Seeing things um but i'm gonna give this a go and then i've got the city bronzer bronzer and contour powder um a medium warm 250 i don't normally contour with creams i love to use bronzer but i just want to see how this wears as you can see i've actually have swatched this at home because i had to 
pitch this is gonna be so dark like for this foundation i normally go a few shades darker to give myself a bit of warmth and color especially because i've been out in the sun at the moment since it's been really lush weather um but yeah we're gonna give this a go so i don't even know where to start i'm gonna just do Am I doing drag today? My honey, right. <laughs> okay, we'll give this a go. Um, I might try this with a brush first and see, and then use a beauty blender. So I'm using the Jeffree and Morphe Star JS1 um, synthetic brush. <laughs> Okay, so that's all buffed and blended. Um, I like, mm, bitch, I know it's in my hairline. Don't <laughs> at me, hunties. I can tell I'm not blind. It's, you can't miss it now in this hair. So that will go anyway, be fine. Um, okay, so looking in the monitor, um, I mean, I'm not mad at it. Again, I just think this foundation, I'm not used to foundation that matches my skin tone-ish in a way. Like, I do go for something a lot darker than my skin tone because I am normally fake tanned or I've been in the sun or on the sunbeds. So I don't normally go for something that kind of matches. So I'm not used to my actual face looking this colour. Um, I mean, it's not bad. I don't hate it. I just think... I don't choose to cream contour, so I just think, why, why bother? I mean, it's pretty cute, okay? Um, I'll give my full final thoughts in a bit. Um, so now we're going to go in the bronzer. So I'm going to use my synthetic brush. I'm going to use the Morphe and Jeffrey brush in JS2, this kind of fluffy brush. I'm just going to bronze the face. So... <laughs> myself a little bit of warmth okay so i'm just gonna take my fluffy brush again i'm just gonna buff it out a little bit because i don't want it to be too harsh um i'm just gonna buff it out okay okay cool so that's done i mean i don't we'll wait to the end we'll wait to the end okay so eyebrows revolution and alexis stone palette um i mean it was on sale on super drug i just bought it because i was there um and i'm gonna use the black shade so that's gonna be shade original 25 so i guess it just goes down in numbers um so i'm gonna use this palette for my eyebrows um and i'm gonna use the jeffree star and morphe js7 with the spoolie on the end as well and i'm just gonna see how this looks so let's go in Coat my brush and then Okay, so I've done one brow. I'm going to do the other brow off camera. Um, I mean, it's really creamy. I think there is a lot, there is fallout quite a bit, but it's an eyeshadow palette. Not probably meant for brows, but I mean, it is really creamy and it blends really nicely, especially using the spoolie. Um, I mean, I do my brows really weirdly. I don't normally do my brows, so I kind of, when they're gelled up, they're really naturally bushy. So I just kind of wanted to keep that kind of natural shape. 
Um, so I'm gonna do my other belt off camera, take a hair, and then I will be Okay, so I've done my brows off camera. I mean, they're not even sisters or friends. They're f***ing enemies. Um, bitch, we're going to go with it. So, okay. I don't do eyeshadow. I don't like it. <laughs> um, I will do it at some point, but that'll be in another video. But today, I'm just going to do something that I would wear every day. And I don't do eyeshadow. I'm going to put a bit of bronzer on the lid to give myself a little bit of colour, but I'm not going anywhere. Um, so the final bit for me is highlight. So I'm going to grab my highlight brush again, Jeffrey and Morphe, JS4. Um, and I hadn't found a new highlight. Um, so I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Cosmetics um, Glow gleam kit i can't really see it's all faded it's been used you can like look at that it's manky um so i'm gonna go in with crushed pearl today so i'm gonna grab my brush i'm just gonna coat the brush see if anything comes on it and i'm just gonna tap that away I'm <laughs> probably way too much but if you can't be seen from space then don't do it at all um my eyes gone really puffy <laughs> the left one here um i don't know if that's from the concealer if i'm having a reaction um but my eye doesn't normally water like this when i have foundation on so i'm just getting a little bit concerned that i'm having an allergic reaction to it um Let's just do the cupid's bow. Um, this highlight is really cute. I highlight the forehead, give it a terrestrial feel. Okay, I will we'll be right back and clean up the lips. I'm going to set my face using my Revolution Hydrate and Fix it. Uh, uh, uh. Setting spray and I will be right back. Okay, so final thoughts primer um it smells amazing i love it my skin felt really hydrated um i don't know i mean um i think this foundation is really really matte and i'm used to something a little bit more dewy so i feel like the moisture has been sucked a little bit out my face um but i think this is actually really good um i mean it doesn't feel dry either it feels quite um quite hydrated in a way um i just think this is so matte it looked really dry um so moving on to the foundation then and the concealer together um this is really matte and for me with really dry skin it ain't working sis um I'm not sure if I'm having allergic reaction to the concealer or the foundation, but my eye feels really puffy and it won't stop watering. Um, I don't normally have that with foundation. I have taken a hay fever tablet today as well. So I'm not sure if it's just the weather, if it's the high pollen count, I don't know. Um, but just kind of bear that in mind. Um, but this is really my mat and it feels really lightweight though it doesn't feel heavy and some full coverage foundations i've used like kat von d for example or estee lauder double wear especially double wear felt heavy this doesn't this feels really lightweight it doesn't feel like i've got anything on so i mean i feel like if i have it i'll use it but there's other options that i think that do the job but my skin feels nicer I have noticed some creasing already under here and I've had it on for about 45 minutes now. So I'm not sure if it's just my powder hasn't mixed well with the formula. I'm not sure. But there is like a lot of creasing already. And like around here as well, like my pores are definitely coming through. So I'm not sure if that's from like, you know, the primer not being pore filling or if it's the concealer. I don't know. Um, 
but these two i mean i like the bronzer i prefer benefit so if i have it again it's there it's eight quid you can't go wrong um but if i have benefit i know where i stand with it i like the coverage from benefit but these two together if i have them i'll definitely use them and it's quite a good price um eyeshadow palette obviously i just did my brows with i like the formula i think it's really creamy a lot of fallout but it's an eyeshadow palette um i will do a look with the eyeshadows on my eye um but overall you know i think for the price i paid it was like 15 quid or something like 13 pound on sale something from Superdrug. i couldn't go wrong so just something kind of there it has a lot of colors in it so definitely um we'll use that again obviously the glow kit i like it anyway it does go with that really nice glow um but overall looking in the mirror i just look pale <laughs> but yeah no i'm happy with it so yes if you did enjoy please thumbs up and hit that subscribe button as well as the little bell to get notifications when i upload again um all my socials are down below so yeah and i will see you next time bye guys